921 and Robert's Road. Traffic control, John speaking. Traffic control center, Bruce speaking. Yes, uh, let's take the charge on. Yeah, George, just check it. Looks like a good day for traffic. Everything okay? Everything under control, John. Nothing to report, mate. We just had notification, John, of a fire in York Street at the Bowlers Club. Fire Brigade headquarters are uh, in attendance, uh, possibly another two fire appliances. Scats run for the fire units have been activated. Police in attendance at this stage? Yeah, there is police on point at York and King, York and Market, and they want the lights blacked out and they'll work the point. We'll need to monitor the traffic in the city as it's diverted. Right, Bruce, you look after the northern approaches. Will do. And Irene, you look after the southern approaches. Sonia, can you notify the media, please? BKG has just informed us that there is quite a large fire in the Bowlers Club and we've got police on a number of intersections there. Wherever the traffic, whatever the incident, one place in the Sydney region really counts. The RTA's Sydney Traffic Control Centre. From the Sydney Traffic Control Centre, the major arterial roads of Sydney's entire traffic system are controlled. The men and women who work there are assisted by sophisticated technology which monitors and regulates the vast network but the core of the system is the experience and decision-making of these people. These decisions are made as the need arises to manage incidents which occur on our road network. An important part of the technology is the traffic control system called SCATS, which monitors and controls 2,000 traffic signals across the Sydney region. The SCATS system also operates in major regional centres such as Wollongong, Newcastle, Taree and Albury so that entire sections of the state can have the best possible traffic conditions. The Sydney Coordinated Adaptive Traffic System was developed originally for traffic control of one of the most complex street patterns in the world, Sydney, New South Wales. Despite the fact that Sydney is split in two by a harbour, that its original roads were developed with no planning and are often extremely narrow, through SCATS and its adaptive nature, excellent traffic flow is created throughout the metropolitan area. The program operates by adjusting signal timings throughout the system, depending on how traffic demands change and on system capacity. The whole process operates in real time. It responds by adapting to real conditions as they occur. At the Sydney Traffic Control Centre, traffic controllers can override the computer to deal with incidents, accidents, special events and emergencies whenever they need to. Irene, how are the sudden approaches? Flowing well, we've diverted the traffic away from the York Street area. Bruce, what's it like in the north? Traffic's flowing okay around the problem. All right, job well done. John, VKG have requested a green light run for an ambulance with police escort from the airport to St Vincent's. Okay, yeah, we can give them a green light from Link Road right through to the hospital. Traffic control unit, the ambulance on Southern Cross Drive is now at the... Yeah, Southern Cross Drive and South Downing Street, John. All right, Bruce, can you take care of that one? Yeah, not a problem. It seems extraordinary that SCATS can tell the controllers the exact number of vehicles moving through Sydney's most important intersections. But the reason is simple. Detector loops beneath the road collect data on vehicle flow and road occupancy. Using this data, SCATS determines on an area-wide basis the best traffic signal timings to suit the traffic conditions. In the traffic control centre, not only can 2,000 different intersections be shown graphically, but also entire local and regional areas. This way, the total traffic condition of Sydney can be monitored minute by minute, because SCATS is able to adapt to the conditions as they vary in real time. But decisions are not made by computer information alone. A number of other monitoring systems work to give the best possible traffic result for Sydney. The police channels are monitored continuously for reports of accidents. Remote cameras on the main roads of Sydney can also be selected and controlled for visual checks of the system. RTA and the police work closely together as a team. As problems arise, action is taken at every level to clear them. For example, the Clearway towing operation is run from the Traffic Control Centre, which, combined with police authority, ensures that flow along key arteries is uninterrupted by illegally parked or broken down vehicles, 
during designated times of day, such as clearways. The automatic network travel time system, known as ANTS, measures the movement of vehicles fitted with tags. The tags are monitored at selected intersections around Sydney. For example, travel times on selected bus routes can be measured and information can be given to travellers. Most taxis and RTA vehicles are fitted with the tags so that even more traffic flow profiles can be created for analysis and input into the SCAT system. All RTA vehicles travelling the network report in by two-way radio. And just as the centre provides traffic reports to radio, television and the taxi systems, the public provide invaluable information by phoning in, which is then logged and entered so that any signal faults or road defects will be rectified as soon as possible. Okay. Thanks for calling. Another source of traffic flow information is through the public transport system's two-way radio network. We still have some congestion in the Lane Cove region. There's a lot of congestion on Epping Road at Lane Cove at the moment. I'll take a look at that one. Irene, one of our cars has just reported a car in the clearway on Longerville Road. It's already caused a smash. We can send a couple of towies up straight away. No, I'm on to it. Traffic Control Centre, Sonia speaking. Can we have an update, yep, please? the last incident we've got is a car on a clearway. It's um, city bound on Longerville Road at Epping Road, Lane Cove, and an accident has also occurred in the area. Dave, what do you need? And just getting uh, details now, John. Uh, we've got police uh, directing traffic now. Uh, let's see if we can divert at an earlier intersection. John, the computer is already adapting around the incident. It won't take long to be back to normal. The Traffic Control Centre's prime purpose is to create the best possible traffic flow for the people of Sydney and New South Wales through SCATs and other systems. By controlling traffic flow and rapidly dealing with any accidents or incidents, thousands of dollars per minute are saved. That's because accidents will always happen, but efficient clearing and traffic management means vehicles are not stuck in queues with lengthy delays. There's less cost to business, to tourism and public and private transport. And the Traffic Control Centre also provides life-saving services a passageway through every part of Sydney's environs when requested. The environment also benefits from the system. Better traffic flow reduces fuel consumption, lowers exhaust emissions, cuts travelling time and means less wear and tear for vehicles. Even in normal conditions, SCATS makes this contribution by organising the best possible flow of vehicles so that cars move through in groups, a platoon effect being the most efficient method of vehicles moving through the system. The system can also be geared to stop the clogging of back streets and keep people on the main roads where motorists can benefit from a series of green lights coordinated to reduce travel time. Whether it's a major event like the Sydney Marathon, the Rugby League Grand Final, the exodus of holiday traffic at Easter, or even a change in the weather sending everyone home from the beach, the Traffic Control Centre makes sure there is minimal disruption and efficient flow. With regions throughout the state linked to the network, Optimum traffic flow up and down the north and south coasts can be achieved, especially in the holiday seasons. Because the SCATS component of the system leads the world in traffic software design, many Australian and overseas cities have purchased the system. It operates in 36 cities and 120 regions around the world. Hong Kong, in particular, uses SCATS to manage traffic in one of the most congested cities in the world. SCATS is a brilliant Australian invention and export developed to deal with normal traffic flow, events, accidents and emergency services. Every day the system is being further developed and refined by Australian engineers working for the RTA. But the prime goal is always to ensure the best possible traffic flow. <laughs>